Now I've doubled that, and we've now got Dali Tambo with us as well, and it is so wonderful to have you. Dali, welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Good morning. And Talani, welcome to you as well. Thank you very much. Isn't this an incredible occasion? I mean, I'm asking you a question, but I mean, uh, to, to celebrate your father, to be here and look at these pictures and feel him in the room, how do you feel? I'm flooded with memories, flooded with memories. When I look at these pictures of him with Chris Honey, with Alfred and Zoe, Thompson Cobby, Paolo Jordan, um, all giants, you know, they were like a band of brothers fighting for the liberation of their country and, of course, sisters. Um, uh, and I, I think it's beautiful. I'm flooded with memories every time I come into the airport uh, because of its significance, um, because of our arrival after 30 years of exile here uh, with my father and... Um, the flight that was involved. I mean, I, literally, as we came across in the small plane, came across the border from Botswana, it was like a hallucination because everything suddenly became green. And the pilot announced to the plane, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have now entered the borders of South Africa. Everybody started crying and cheering, my dad, my mum, all the ANC people. And it was perhaps the most emotional uh, plane journey of, of our lives and it was arriving here being greeted at, uh, at the, what was then Jan Smuts but being greeted at the airport with all these uh, airport workers who downed tools and rushed to the plane hundreds of them surrounded the plane then came the Joe Slovers and all those who had preceded him back so it was an incredible thing and I always think of that when I come through the airport um, of that emotional day I think you can see it there yeah. <laughs> yes. you can and I mean I'm, I'm looking at this photograph and I was on asking, where's Dali? But Dali's holding young Oliver over there. But Talani, you are there. I mean, look at you. That's a beautiful... Can we get a shot on the camera, if, if at all possible, of Talani? What was that like for you? I mean, Talani, that, looking at this photograph, how does it make you feel? It's a great memory, like Dali was saying. You know, on that day, when we came out to the front of the airport and we were standing up um, on this platform, and beyond us, as far as I could see, there were people and they were all holding um, banners and plaques of my father's face. And it was something that I'd never seen before. It was something I hadn't imagined. It was really quite extraordinary, quite incredible. I was so proud. I was amazed. Um, it was a beautiful, beautiful day. You were 26 at the time? Yes. And it was my first time in South Africa. That was my introduction to South Africa because uh, I was born, of course, in England. So that was the introduction to South Africa, and it was quite an introduction. I'm sure it was quite an introduction for you, and a, and a memory that you'll never forget. Dali mentioned that every time he comes to the airport, he's flooded with memories. Having said that, I mean, that, that is besides what the airport is now going to become, because what we see now with these incredible pictures and all these memories, this is going to be all over the international and the, uh, yes. the, the, the domestic terminals, which is going to be incredible, keeping your dad's legacy going. Yes, and I think that it's not just us as a family who are very proud of that. It's South Africa who's very proud of that and very proud, of course, of his legacy. So um, as the airport grows, of course, you know, his legacy grows. Yeah. It's, it's amazing that every time we come to the airport, we think of your dad. And the last time we were here doing a broadcast was the renaming of the airport. And that was, that was something special as well in 2006, October 2006. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Well, you know, it, it's the whole thing. Um, there's a relationship with uh, AXA and the Tambos and um, I think the broad public, which says that uh, let's make this um, really the best airport in Africa, um, one of the best in the world, I think it already is. And I've said to them many times, I mean, they honor um, him every day in the service they give to the customers who come through here. Because one of the most important things is that people coming through the airport must go and tell other people, I went to OR Tambo, what an experience, what a pleasure, you know, the service, etc., etc. So I really must, on behalf of the family and the Oliver and Adelaide Tambo Foundation, thank AXA um, for the sterling work they're doing. I always said to them that you must humanize him. Now it's named after him. You must humanize and reveal him. We must see him at 40, we must see him at 50, we must see him walking with Lutuli, walking with Ani, etc., etc. And so I hope in, in days to come uh, that uh, we will see that. Um, certainly that's what I've been told, and as you can see, it's already started in such a momentous way. Yeah. Well, it has. We're going to be speaking to the curator of all of this after the news headlines and uh, finding out more about what to expect from this amazing legacy project that's been put in place at OR Tambo. Thank you so much, Talani Dali. Always a pleasure seeing you. Thank you so much for talking to us here on Morning Live.